Hello listeners and learners, welcome to today's episode of our weekly English class. I am teacher Evelyn. In studio with me are three grade 7 learners from Upendo Junior Secondary School. They are Zawadi, Chacha and Amani. Studio learners, kindly greet and welcome our beloved listeners. Hello listeners, welcome to today's class. Thank you learners. In our last lesson, we learned about determiners and we saw that they support the noun in a noun phrase. We talked about the definite article the and the indefinite articles are and an, discussing their form and function in a noun phrase. In today's lesson, we shall learn about demonstrative determiners, this and that, discussing their form and function in a noun phrase. Learners, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to form sentences using demonstrative determiners in singular and in plural. To our at-home learners, if you do not have your notebook and a pen at hand, you may take the next one minute to get the learning materials ready. If you have two pens, please have them both with you during this lesson. I hope all of you at home have your notebooks and pens ready now. Let us start our learning on demonstrative determiners. Demonstrative determiners, this and that, are used to show the distance between the speaker and what or who is being spoken about. This is used to show that what or who is being spoken about is near the speaker. It is spelled as T-H-I-S. It is used in singular form. Its plural variation is these, spelled as T-H-E-S-E. -E. Let's make an example using these determiners. If I'm holding a pen that belongs to me, I will say, this is my pen. Learners, let's all hold our pens in our hands and say, This is my pen. This is my pen. Very good. Let's take another pen. Now we have two pens in our hand. We will use the plural demonstrative determiner, these, to show that we have more than one pen near us. Let's all say, these are my pens. These are my pens. Very well said, learners. The second category of demonstrative determiners are used when what or who is being spoken about is far from the speaker. We use that in singular and those in plural. For example, if the pen is far from me, I shall say, that is my pen. And if they are two pens, I shall say, those are my pens. Class, repeat after me. That is my pen. That is my pen. Those are my pens. Those are my pens. Good. Let's do an activity. Zawadi, please walk ten steps away from your book. Now please, take 20 seconds and make any sentence about your book 
using the demonstrative determiner that. is beautifully covered. Marvelous. Chacha, please take 20 seconds and use the plural variation of the determiner in Zawadi's sentence to redo the sentence. That was excellent. Amani, please take 20 seconds to make any sentence that uses a demonstrative determiner. is very hot. Correct. You have all done a good job. Listeners, I hope you are constructing your sentences too. As we have seen, demonstrative determiners show us the distance between the speaker and who or what is being spoken about. Learners, you may now ask any question concerning today's lesson. Pardon me, teacher Evelyn. My question is, how do we use demonstrative determiners with collective nouns? Very good question, Chacha. Demonstrative determiners can be used with collective nouns too. For example, for a pride of lion we shall say, this is a pride of lions. But if we have two or more prides, then we say, these are prides of lions. Any other question, learners? Then this marks the end of today's lesson. To recap, we have seen that demonstrative determiners are used to show distance from the speaker to what or who is being spoken about. Please read more on that. In our next lesson, we shall learn about quantitative determiners. Studio learners, let's say goodbye to our listeners. Goodbye listeners, until next time. Credits I would like to thank and appreciate the special participation of the voice actors John Kennedy as Zawadi, Darrell Ogundo as Chacha, and Enoch Ayeye as Amani. I would also like to acknowledge the much-needed guidance from Dr. David Olude of ECT Department at Kenyatta University.